there, it's Nora from the Professional Hobo. Today's excursion in Tokyo, Japan is to a supermarket slash department store. Now you might ask why on earth I would consider going to a supermarket or department store an excursion. Let me tell you, it's one of my favorite things to do when I land in, in a new country. It is a lens into the cultural landscape of a place that no other place can be seeing how things are offered, seeing what's on offer, seeing how much things cost, and seeing how to buy them. All excellent ways of learning about a new place. So the place that I'm going to is called Ito Yakado, which is actually right behind me here. Uh, I was actually worried about being able to find it, but obviously that's not going to be a problem. And apparently it is um, supposed to be similar to what a Target store in the USA would be. Uh, except I have a feeling it's going to be a little more than that too. Let's go see. Oh my, where to begin? If I read Japanese, I would know exactly where to go. But since I don't, I get to find out the fun way. A little peek into Tokyo inexpensive fashion. Caucasian models. Very interesting. So far, it's all pretty department store like. I think I'm in like the dollar store equivalent floor of the store now. By the way, they call dollar stores 100 yen stores in Japan, which is pretty much a dollar. And what kind of department store would it be without tennis courts on the roof. Brilliant. I'm sure it has a practical use, but what exactly? I'm not sure. Oh yes, you heard it here. Good makeup goods will make you happier and cute. And it wouldn't be a department store if it didn't have a good food court. Which, incidentally, along the lines of the food court, there are actually all kinds of restaurants that you can sit in, including a sushi train restaurant. Yeah. I love this about Japan. So many of the restaurants have plastic replicas of the food on offer uh, sitting outside which uh, greatly helps people like me who can simply point to what I want. I don't know if I'm actually still in Ido Yukato or not. I had to walk outside and back in again uh, through another door, uh, but this is ultimately what I came here for, which is the supermarket. I did hear before I came that the Japanese like to put all kinds of things into their breads, which apparently they do. Oh, look at these! They're so cute! Delightful desserts. I have no idea what most of them are, which for me is all the more reason to try them. Considering cheese is still fairly new concept to Asia, I'm actually pretty surprised at the selection. Uh, of cheese available here, uh, although not really surprised at the price. Uh, for example, this little container of um, feta and olives, of which there's not much in there, that's nine dollars. So I'm just gonna leave that right there. Oh, cute angel song. Look at all that sushi. Dear Lord, I'm never cooking again. This is unbelievable. That whole wall is sushi. That's all tempura and yakitori. That's all sashimi. And this is all 
even more stuff. The good news is everything's really well priced. Uh, for $5 I can get a package of sushi that in the States at a supermarket uh, would cost double that, a minimum, uh, and that's supermarket sushi. Uh, it's also worth noting that supermarket sushi in Japan is considerably higher quality than what you can get in most restaurants in North America. So I am in heaven. So it seems that mung bean sprouts are like the cheapest thing in the store. I can get a bag of this for like 50 cents. Sounds good to me. Now this was the biggest shock when I first arrived in Japan is that the fruit is absolutely outrageously priced. Uh, the selection is not that great, but what is on offer is beautiful. It, it, I heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true, that it's illegal to sell a bruised apple in Japan, and given what I've seen so far, I would say that's actually probably true. Everything is impeccably served, uh, impeccably offered. Uh, but it comes at a cost, and that cost is so great that in my shopping cart today are two lonely grapefruits for a dollar apiece. We're coming into peach season, and these peaches are approximately $5 a piece. $5 a piece. You got it, folks. $9 for a cantaloupe. Even the vegetable is absolutely gorgeous. So, I followed golden rule number one of grocery shopping, which was to eat before I came here. So I wasn't hungry and still my bag of groceries, uh, I, I couldn't help myself. I ended up spending about almost $75 on, uh, on groceries. But I have a whole new selection of ingredients. I don't know how, what half of it is, but I expect to have a lot of fun trying new foods and uh, enjoying life in Japan. It's Nora Dunn from Professional Hobo. Ciao.